difficult. Let's just get this over with, shall we? We have a mission for you. A major weapons test is imminent. We need to know how to destroy it. If you're really doing this, I want to help. Good. Good. I've been recruiting for the rebellion for a long time. We destroyed our home. I fight the Empire now. I fear nothing. All is as the Force wills it. I just got all caught up I in that trailer. Were. I was like, <laughs> uh, the most highly anticipated movie of the year now in theaters, Rogue One, a Star Wars story, uh, for his take on this. And I was going to say in other movies, are there any other movies? Well, there's only one movie that's <laughs> opening that's sort of silly enough to open against okay, Star Wars, okay, but we'll get to that in a minute. Everybody's talking mm -hmm. about Rogue One. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. So what that means is this is the first of the standalone Star Wars movies. So this is what you can expect. Last year was The Force Awakens, mm -hmm. which was like a proper Star Wars movie. Yes. Two years from now, or two years from then, meaning next year, there'll be another proper Star Wars movie. Mm -hmm. In between do, there, uh, Into Infinity, there's going to be standalones. So there will be this year, Rogue One, a Star Wars story, which is a prequel to the original 1977 film. Yes. Two years from now, there will be a Han Solo solo, Han Solo solo movie, a standalone movie. Two years after that, a Boba Fett film, and on and on and this on. This is Infinity until, and Beyond. Until I am long gone. There's someone else, a robot, will be sitting here reviewing these movies <laughs> 50 years from now. Um, but Rogue One uh, is the first of these, and th this is an important one because if this doesn't work, then you know it, it sort of cast a long shadow, and it works really well. It is uh, a, a story that I can't really tell you all that much about because it's loaded with Easter eggs and surprises and all kinds of cool stuff. So I don't want to give anything away. This is a completely spoiler-free uh, review. Okay. All you need to know is that it is essentially the story that is on the scroll of the first movie of A New Hope, the 1977 movie. The scroll at the beginning of that movie mm -hmm. talks about the Rebel Alliance and the Death Star and that kind of thing. It, this is that story. So it is the events leading up to the first movie. So does that give, you know, the five of us left on this planet who haven't seen Star Wars hope that they could see this and understand it? Absolutely. Because really? that's right, because you are one of the, the five. Yeah, and I've, not, and I've never actually met one of you before. Real. So yeah. You are real. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> uh, no, you don't have to know anything about Star Wars to know this. If you do know, for instance, that Pogol the Lesser stole the plan or gave the plans for the Death Star to Lord Count Duco, if you know that, it would be a richer experience for you. But if you don't, it's just a war movie. Okay. It's just a war movie that has some really cool elements. If you're a Star Wars fan, there will be things here that will make the top of your head pop off because there's some really cool stuff that happens. Yeah. Uh, but if not, you will be able to enjoy. They've done a really good job at sort of calibrating this movie to appeal to the fans and to uh, newbies like yourself. Wow, so you gave this I gave this one, Rogue one four Death Stars. If you were a fan, you would know what that means. Okay, all right. <laughs> Someday I'll catch up. Uh, the next movie is called Collateral Beauty. Anything pretty about it? Well, not really, and oh, I dear. wish there was because it's an all-star cast. It's Will Smith, it's Edward Norton, it's uh, Kate Winslet, Kira Knightley, Helen Hunt, Michael Pena is in here. Uh, this is a as star-studded a movie as we're going to see this year, probably, and it's supposed to be the feel-good movie of the season. I think, but for me, it is the feel bad movie of the of the month, and possibly maybe it's just a bad movie. I'm trying to figure it out. It is Will Smith playing a really charismatic guy who runs uh, an advertising agency. That's him at the beginning of the movie. Cut to two years later, his six year old child has died, and he is despondent. He's in a funk that he cannot shake. So his business partners, uh, Michael Pena, Edward Norton, and and Kate Winslet, decide to pull a little fast one on him and bring him out of his funk so that he will sign the papers so they can sell the company and make a lot of money. So it is manipulating his grief for their greed. And it is the most unchristmasy idea oh possibly okay. ever for a holiday movie. Uh, you know, the actors are fine. There's, and it looks nice. It's shot in New York at Christmas. So, you know, you get to see the, you know, the Rockefeller centered Christmas tree and all that stuff. But beyond that, this movie didn't really work so well for me. All right. Well, we can't end it there. Instead, we're going to show everyone 
these incredible socks. I don't know if we can get a close up. The, the, this is you. This is me on a pair we'll of socks. The black. This is, um, if you go to heatsu.com, H I T S U socks.com, you'll find uh, my socks. And it's me because I love fancy socks. It's yeah. me as a chicken watching a 3D movie and eating popcorn. That's it's fantastic. a perfect Christmas gift. You know you've made it <laughs> when you're on a sock, Richard Krause. And these are for you. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll wear them. Wear I'll them wear with them. pride. I will. I'm barefoot today, so I might. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we'll see you soon.